We've got a special guest coming onto the stage with you. I would like to call up uh, Mr. Eddie Waxer. Come on up, Eddie. Hmm? Okay. Hey, Eddie. Great. Take a seat here, Eddie. Uh, I saw Eddie get a ripping barrel this morning, mate. You did really well out in the lineup. How long have you been surfing for? Uh, for about five minutes. <laughs> um, for those who don't uh, know, Eddie is not a surfer, um, but his connection with Christian surfers has been really strong. In fact, when did we uh, first meet? 36 years ago. 36 years I was six years old. You were five years old. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> Where was that, Eddie? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. What was happening in Hong Kong? We had our first global gathering of those involved across all kinds of sports ministries in about, uh, from about 33 countries. And that was the uh, first conference of its kind on that global scale. I was attending as a young, fresh-faced uh, Christian surfer in 1981, had my Christian surfer shirts and got there and went, what are all these old people doing here? <laughs> I mean, there was uh, Norwegian, Shell Marks it was young, there was a young girl from Cairo and me, I think we're the only people under 30, and uh, that was my memory. And I'm wearing my Christian surfer shirt and I had these uh, older Indian men came up to me and they gathered around me and patted on the shoulder and said, oh, Christian sufferers, we suffer for Christ, oh. And I was like, uh, no, 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 I'm surfer, Christian surfers, oh, yes, you suffer for Christ, and man, I had to put up the whole conference with these guys feeling so bad for me. And I was feeling so bad thinking I'm the last person who's suffering here as a Christian surfer. <laughs> um, so um, action sports weren't particularly well understood in the early sports movement. What's your observations, Eddie, of um, action sports? I think as I look across the world today, uh, the action sports really fit Acts 1-8. Uh, of the uttermost, uh, of reaching out to those that are far away often from the gospel uh, in isolated situations. Uh, uh, one of the most remarkable movements of the Holy Spirit today uh, is in the action sports area with Christian surfers being uh, the, the key leadership group of all of those action sport ministries. Key leadership group, this lot? Uh, sa yes, this lot right here. What, uh, what makes you think that, Eddie? Well, I, I think that uh, Christian Surfers has had a lot of history, just as the two of you just shared. You've gotten to a place of go having gone through so much uh, to build Christ-like leadership skills. Uh, the gospel is full of people who are young in age, and uh, that's what this room is full of, of young leaders uh, who have mature leaders around them. So I look at Christian Surfers as the key agency, for it, particularly because you've networked so well with other agencies and churches. Thanks, Eddie. Um, you've also helped um, pioneer a much wider thing of sports ministry. It's a little bit hard to put your finger on it because if I Google the, a global sports movement, I'm actually not going to find it. What is it that you've helped pioneer on a global scale since the late 70s? Well, when I, the Lord first put the burden of sport on my own heart, uh, there was only ministry in sport in two countries of the world then. Uh, today, we know of 209 countries where there is a sports ministry of some level happening across the world. So uh, this encompasses all kinds of sports ministry from uh, the highly competitive Olympics and World Cups uh, down to uh, children as young as four years of age uh, that are being ministered through sport and play today. So there are, there's literally uh, several million who are involved in sport ministry that's growing over these last uh, 50 years. And probably in a world that is so torn up with conflict today and tensions today, uh, one of the areas that God seems to be prospering the most is what's happening in this room and across the world in similar places that sport ministry is penetrating and the Lord is blessing this movement. Um, I just have to say, Eddie, I'm uh, 
you've coached me a lot in networking and you mentioned the fact that Christian Surfers has been a good at networking and partnering. And I have to say that I've learned a lot of that from you personally as well as being involved in the global sports movement. And in fact, um, uh, in a week after this, there is an Action Sports Ministry Summit happening in Munich. And uh, Lewis and Dil Siri are attending that, representing Christian Surfers, along with uh, there's another 45 people from a dozen countries and representing about eight different action sports. That's being followed up with a Skate Ministry Summit in Barcelona, uh, which is held every four years. And some people from the uh, Action Sports Summit are then going to Barcelona. So there's been three global gatherings coordinated in Europe to come together. And so much of this um, has really happened with your encouragement. I know Gil and I really appreciate you personally. You are at our home only uh, last year and it has been uh, a really wonderful journey with you personally. You've been uh, on our list of advisors when we created Christian Surfers International you are one of my key advisors. Um, I've had that chance to glean a lot from you. Is there something you would like to say to this group? One of the unique things about this group that um, none of you may be aware uh, of all the sports in the world today, when you look at cricket and you look at rugby and you look at basketball and you look at soccer, you are the only network of a single sport that spans the world. There's nothing in cricket, there's nothing in soccer, there's nothing in basketball. God has done a unique work in your hearts to bring you together across the nations uh, to encourage each other, to help those that are weak to grow stronger, to bring encouragement to one another across the nations. And so my personal prayer and hope is that you would be a model to the other sports that there needs to be better networking, better unity, greater encouragement across the different sports of the world. So be encouraged. The Holy Spirit has done a very unique work in your midst. Thanks, Eddie. Appreciate you being here.